Hi, this is Charlene here with AVID's 10 to 2 chunking and processing method for grades 3 through 8. So um, if you've watched the 511 method, you will realize that it's the same thing, but just for a longer process. If not, here we go. So it's 10 minutes of teacher input. That means 10 minutes of teachers lecturing, providing samples, um, providing direct instruction, providing demonstration, reading, uh, viewing a video that's related to content, and then teachers would stop after 10 minutes because we know that a student's attention span is very limited. And if it's any longer than 10 minutes, you might lose them. So after that 10 minutes, you want them to allow two minutes of collaboration time. When we say collaboration, this could be, you know, collaborating with partners in a small group. Um, we want them to collaborate. They could use, compare notes. They can compare strategies, ideas. If we're using math, they can compare like tape diagrams versus um, other diagrams that they're using to complete math problems. Um, but we want to allow this processing so they can show if they're using interactive notebooks, the side for processing in their interactive notebooks and share that information. After they've uh, shared their information, we want to provide them two more minutes. This two minutes is for them to go back and add to their notes. So they can add new ideas that they got from their partners or their groups. They can go back and revise the notes based on the information that they were given to their given when they shared with their partner, maybe they had a misconception, maybe they were wrote some things down wrong that were inaccurate. They can definitely go back and update their notes. They can write a one sentence summary based on the information that they shared. And now through collaboration, they have a new understanding or use a prompt or sentence frame to capture uh, main ideas or additional connections. So that's one way that we can use the 10 to two chunking and processing method. An additional way is for students to go ahead and use the 10 to 2 method. Again, that 10 minutes of input, no more than 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes of input, you want them to add to their own notes independently. So what did my teacher say? What do I understand? And how can I synthesize that in the note taking process? Again, we do not want students copying notes. So we want them to synthesize this information and uh, create their own understanding in their notes. They can go back and revise their notes based on the information that they've received in the lecture, add to the notes. Um, they can write a one sentence summary if they don't have any revisions to be made. And they can use a prompt or a sentence frame to capture the main ideas or connections in their notes. So they can add pictures, algorithm, um, any, anything, a model that would help them understand the notes better. As they're adding to these notes, teachers are walking around identifying students, um, note taking, understanding where they are in the concepts and looking for any misconceptions. After students add to their notes, now you allow them to process with a partner by collaboratively sharing their notes. And because we've allowed that differentiation of adding to notes, everybody's notes should be different. So students can go ahead and provide new novice ideas when they share with partners. So you want them to either have a partner, an AB partner, do a rally robin. If they're working with a group, they can do a round robin. And you want them just to compare notes and strategies. As a teacher, I'm the facilitator, I'm the timekeeper. I'm telling them, Partner A is going to go first, partner B is going to go second, partner C is going to go third, partner D is going to be last. I'm giving you guys one minute every 15 seconds. I might say switch, 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 giving everybody that equity to share their ideas. And then when we're done, I might call the whole group back together and ask them for some information that they've added to their notes. Um, and their two columns, three columns, Cornell notes, and their redraw right in um, the processing side of the interactive notebook. And as a teacher, I might collect that information and add it to my notes from the whole group, showing that I'm validating students' concepts and ideas. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.